hey guys let me ask you few questions on the excel automation and let's see let's test your knowledge on this okay here is your first question check the graphics and what will be the output pretty simple and let me show you the graphics here excel application scope it is reading from an excel file from the sheet one what is there in the sheet one this is what the data is there look at carefully how many data one two three four five okay and this is the header now here i am using a right line activity dt1 is the output of the read range dt1 dot row dot count dot two string okay and your question is simple straightforward what will be the output is the output going to be five six error will be thrown zero what is your answer okay start typing your answer because this will be interesting okay so you saw the property let me run it and show you the exact output so if i run it what is the output the output is six so how many of you are right comment it that you are right or you are wrong okay nothing it doesn't matter so why the answer has come six when the total number of items are five start typing your reasoning okay we should go to the exam with our knowledge not with some questions and remembering some questions that doesn't do anything if something is changed you will always fail so always go with the knowledge okay now tell me what is the reasoning behind it why the answer is six everybody start typing the answer please why it is six what do you think why it has become six okay okay so let me answer you why it is six because if you look at this property carefully add header is not enabled so what uipath is thinking whatever data is there in the sheet one all our data without headers so there is no header in the data so it is taking all of the data all of the items as data it is not because you told uipath there is no header so i think um you know, instead of uh, this one saying add headers it's supposed to be has headers right it would be more appropriate so that's why because it considered everything as a data it counted everything and said six number of data right six rows of uh, data is there so instead of items if i say let's say 10 i'm going to change the data to 10 right if i change this data to 10 and i am going to enable add headers what will be the output because you see it's 10 will it say answer is 6 or 5 start typing here what i have done add headers so if i run this what would happen the output will come as what start typing will it show the row count as 5 or will it show the output as 6 add header is enabled this time okay so answer is 5 so why the answer is 5 because there are 6 rows of data right because add header is enabled the first row it will consider as a header it will not take that as a data row it will simply take it as a header why because you have instructed you have the first line is a header add header it, instead of add header i think has header what i think is would be more appropriate so um, but again you know we'll go as it is right what is there so add headers because you are telling UiPath there is a header so don't count that one so it will not count that one and will count rest of it so the output of this time will be 5 understood very interesting topic and you should know how it functions pretty good let's move on to our second question second question a developer reads a data range from an excel however he finds the speed of the execution is slow what can be done to enhance performance speed is slow simple what are the options check the use filter option check the preserve format option uncheck use filter option uncheck the preserved format option so tell me what is more appropriate in this start typing your answer is it one two three four simply say four simply say two or three or four start typing okay all right now let me show you the exact answer for this so the preserve format where is the preserve format options and where, which are this option preserve format and use filter these are the two options if you check this option what would happen 
your reading will become very very slow why what is the reason behind that rakesh so you should always look at the documentation of this documentation of this read range activity so here what it says preserve format selecting this checkbox keep the formatting of the range that you want to read by default the checkbox is cleared okay selecting the checkbox keep the formatting of the range that you wanted to read now very important look at the note here selecting preserve format checkbox might cause performance issues on a large ranges so here our question is it is he is observing slowness right however he finds the speed of the execution is slow what can be done so the answer is uncheck preserve format option okay this happens because once the checkbox is selected the cells are read one by one the cells are read one by one instead of being read in bulk okay that is the reason okay so here what is the answer so for this one the answer was 6 and for this one the answer is uncheck this is the answer let me ask you the third question a developer does not want to read the entire range of excel sheet rather needs to use the only the filtered values which option in the property panel will be added this is pretty simple use check the use filter option if you wanted to use only the filter option you should go for this option okay so that is the answer and i think with the line itself it is pretty clear when selected the activity does not read what has been filtered out of the specified range okay so if you are applying a filter it will not read that those filtered items it will only read what is there for example items control shift l and let's say i want to filter out few items from here that is uh, do, 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 let's say i don't want to read 1 and 4 so how many items are there 2 3 5 so it will only read 2 3 5 Okay so thank you guys for watching it let's move on to our 66 topic thank you